Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to take a look at a hover and click element inside of bubble. So let's get started. So I'm going to close this, uh, the preview and I'm going to delete this so that we can create everything from uh, start. So this is the home list, home underscore list, it is the first page. So basically, we'll be having two pages as uh, you previously saw from the preview. Um, so yeah, so first we'll be dragging in the repeating group. So I'm clicking on that and uh, it is right there. And the vertical scrolling to full list. And here you can uh, adjust how you want it to be. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to center it horizontally a little bit on top. So that's good. So now I'm going to take a link and drag it inside of the repeating group. So that looks uh, good. Center horizontally and then center vertically. So now we basically need to uh, connect the repeating group and the link text box to a uh, data. So the data that we'll be using is avatar so to create this you can go ahead and scroll down and you'll find this to create a new type so you can create uh, avatar or the table that you would like to create and you can click on create and uh, it will show up right here so these are the three fields the name is the text field image is the image field again description is the text field so these are the three fields that we'll be using um, for this example as you can see we are back in the design view and here we want to connect it to the avatar uh, database so that's what we are going to be doing so it's um, focused right now so the type of content will be avatar uh, data source will be we are going to list the list of avatars so that will be doing a search for it so it's again avatar so it is nice and set up so now when we click on the link because we are going to be directing to another page where it has the list of information of the particular avatar because the list the different fields that we'll be using for the particular avatar is description image and name so uh yeah so over here we are just going to be using the name of the avatar so it will be um current cells avatars name so that's good and the destination page will be avatar info that is a different page we'll get to that in a bit and the data that you want to send is the current cells avatar so that's pretty much set up so yeah so let's go ahead and uh, close this right up and uh, now we'll go ahead and i've already created the avatar info so again i'm going to click on that and going straight ahead and deleting so that we can start from scratch so as i mentioned earlier we have three different fields name description and image so we want to put them on this page so i'm going to click on image uh, hold it right there and for this i wanted a square uh, square format rather width is 170 and the height is 170 so that's pretty good so now i'm going to drop in the text and another uh, text for the description so that's pretty good so let's go ahead and arrange it So we have it all uh, nicely arranged here. So I'm going to group all of them together. I've selected all of them and right click group element. So there it is. It is mentioned as group A. So upon clicking on it, it uh, selects it as group A. So now we can just rename it to uh, avatar. And when you click on this, it expands. So the type of content would be avatar and the data source would be current page avatar. So the group is uh, sorted out. So the text A, which is the name. 
So now when we click on it, insert dynamic data, so it will be parent groups a name. And uh, you can rename that as well. Now when you scroll down, here you have a list of options. Here it looks like it's very tiny and I want it to be slightly big like in the preview. So I'm going to settle for 19 point gray semi bold 500. But we can always come back and edit it and change it. So and for the description, I'm going to insert uh, parent groups avatar uh, description. So that's there again rename it that's good and same goes for the image as well insert dynamic data parent groups avatar image yes that's good so yeah so now we are settled so i'm going to duplicate this page and here i'm going to open up the first page which is home list and it's right here so now let's go ahead and take a look at how both of these pages have turned out. So now I'm going to go over to data, run as chain. So yeah, it is loaded up. So when I hover over the avatar, the title, it definitely has a link at the bottom of the um, page, which you can see, which means it definitely takes us to the next page, which is good. So that part works but the main uh, effect was the hover or the underline so now let's go ahead and take a look at how we can go about doing that so over to home underscore list we shall go ahead and double click on it go over to the conditioners here we can set the path where we want to uh, highlight or enlarge the text when we hover over it or change color and uh, do things like that so it comes under conditions. So go ahead and click on uh, define another condition. So here, uh, this link is hovered, and the property for that would be underlined. Here we want to underline the particular text, which is in the link. Over here we have Iron Man and Doctor Strange. So when we hover over it, there should be an underline to it. So let's go ahead and refresh that. Okay, it's refreshed. As you can see here, uh, we have the underline happen, which is pretty cool. So now let's go ahead and change the text color uh, to make it somewhat a grayish color. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead back to appearance, um, primary, semi bold. As you can see here, so uh, let's do a uh, gray semi bold. So we have selected 15 gray semi bold and the conditionals seem to have gone. So let's go ahead and put back the conditionals. This link is hover and uh, the property for that would be underline. We can check mark that because we want to see the underline there, right? So let's go ahead and choose that. Refresh the page. There we have it. So upon hover, it uh, by default goes to the blue color that we would normally see upon hover and the underline, which is pretty cool. So another element that we can add to it is uh, the appearance of the text. Like when we hover over it, it can be enlarged like a little bit. So to do that, we can go ahead and select uh, the property or the property to change and the font size to be currently we are at uh, 15 so let's go ahead and direct it to uh, let's say 16 so that's good let's go ahead and click on it refresh so as you can see when i hover over the text it highlights it changes color it has the underline and it slightly zooms up, which is pretty cool. So now, uh, yeah, it looks really, really nice. So let's go ahead and click on Doctor Strange. And it's pretty cool. So yeah, I hope you learned something from this video. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.